Hey, I wanted to make a very brief video on, well, look, I got my carbs back together. The, uh, <clears throat> this awesome thing that I can do with old hoses, because I bought, I hate buying gas line fuel hose, and it's fucking stiff as fuck. Like, this shit up here is brand new. Uh, this is the brand new shit that I bought. <clears throat> and I got it from 4 into 1 Moto. It's a little stiff. I guess it's good. I like it. I mean, it's for, you know, the quarter inch. You know, I think it's like 5 millimeter, they call it. And that'll probably work really good. <clears throat> but, um... It's a little, it's a little stiff, you know, it's not, it's partial rubber, it's like, I don't know, some kind of <coughs> fake rubber. Nothing seems to be as good as like, you know, genuine Honda stuff, or maybe what they had in the back of the day, but it is rock hard, like these things right here, these are the originals. They look a little bulgy, because I re-annealed them. These, these were two of the ones that I had. I took them off. These are the boots that go over the intakes. Eh, they're a little cracked. Can't stop cracks, but you can definitely... These were like shrunken and tiny and really fucked. Now they are like totally malleable now. I think this is like a great hose to use. I mean, I don't know about the ends being so huge. You know, I'm going to have to... They, they fit over it really, really nice. But I'm going to have to clean out the insides obviously <clears throat> and put you know good clamps on them but that feels awesome and and they're original they're almost 40 years old the, the the secret I mean people probably heard about it but take a container mix nuts not mix nuts and <clears throat> soak them for like a week. I've got some other shit in there. I got the rubber boot from the tank, uh, the little thing that goes in the, the, the hole where the nut goes in the holds the seat of the tank down. I got a vacuum hose in there. That one right there was really hard and I'm trying to soften that one up. I got and I'm, I'm almost out of fluid because I've had this fluid for like almost a year now. And this here. But um, shit. The the trick is, you buy on eBay or Amazon or whatever, winter green oil. Winter green essential oil. It'll come in like a little four ounce jar. If you can get more, because you think you're going to be doing this a lot. You can use it for carburetor boots. You can use it for intake boots. These ones are a little hard. You know, you could lay this down in a pan of it and soak it. I've used it on, I used it on these carburetor boots on my Goldwing because they were stiff as fuck. And I soaked them in there for a week and they're just perfect. But it's not just wintergreen oil. You also have to mix it in with about equal parts, half and half, or maybe a little bit more um, <clears throat> rubbing alcohol. Cheap stuff, doesn't matter. Rubbing alcohol, I think 91% or 90% or whatever is what I used. But so you'll get, you know, about this much in there. And that's enough to sit some some boots in or whatever. And it, and it does evaporate, but I keep it in a sealed container so it evaporates very, very slowly. But, I mean, these things were completely solid. And now they're just amazing. And I don't know if they're going to leak. I mean, they weren't cracked. I don't know if they're going to leak around there, but I've, I've, I've dealt with hoses before that were um, spongy like this, and they just sealed so nice, you know? <laughs> so, um, it does work, you know? And I, I've only got a little bit left in here, and they, it just barely touches the stuff, but if I got the bottom of it soaked in there, in, in, in the juice long enough, just set it and forget it, <laughs> like Ron Popeil said, you know? And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm working on figuring out the hose arrangement here. I'm looking in my... I didn't know where the vacuum hose came from in this friggin' thing down here. Uh, apparently there's an en engine vacuum one. That one goes to the petcock. 
<clears throat> and then uh, carburetor number two goes to um, the advance line. Um, that's oh, this hose right here. This one's not as stiff as the other one. The other one was like, you hear that? Like that's well, that's on the plastic, but this one's a little bit rubbery. I'm gonna have to see if that moves the advance or not. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm just just gonna slam that freaking thing, those carbs in here. Let's change the battery. That little battery's not gonna crank it. I'm gonna jump it to my car battery, or I'll pull the one out of my Goldwing. And I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make a video of this thing running if it runs. Uh, see ya.